This episode of Marijuana Today Daily is brought to you by our friends over at Ease.com, California's top one-stop website for legal marijuana delivery, and now a nationwide provider of hemp-derived CBD products by mail. If you live in one of the 41 U.S. states where the new Ease Wellness platform delivers to via the mail, then you're just four to six business days from taking delivery on a wide range of professionally curated CBD products all made using hemp-derived CBD. If you've been looking for a trusted and reputable source for CBD products, then look no further than easewellness.com, spelled E-A-Z-E. And of course, if you live in California, you just need to open up ease.com to see all the different products that are available in the Golden State, with those orders getting to your door in less than an hour, assuming that it's during legal delivery hours. See just how easy Ease makes legal marijuana delivery over at Ease.com if you live in California and EaseWellness.com if you live elsewhere, hopefully within one of the 41 U.S. states where the new service delivers too. Thanks to everyone at Ease for supporting today's news. Good morning, Marijuana Nation. It's Monday, December 17th, 2018, and you're tuned in to episode 630 of Marijuana Today Daily. I'm your host, Shay Gunther, and I'll be walking you through today's marijuana news and headlines. As always, we have a full and busy day of cannabis news in our hands, so let's jump right into it. We start off our final week ahead of the holiday break in Massachusetts, as that state's third adult use dispensary opened up in the town of Salem on Saturday. The Alternative Therapies Group opened their doors over the weekend, and in a bid to avoid the rush of crowds that overtook the first two shops in Massachusetts to start selling adult use cannabis, required their customers to make appointments online ahead of coming in to shop. From all reports, things went smoothly on the first day of business, with the dispensary also running shuttles from a remote parking lot to cut down on traffic. There are a number of other adult use dispensaries in Massachusetts that have been given final license to operate, but that are working on the very last step of getting a license to commence operations. Open up Salem News for photos of that city's first adult use dispensary, which also happens to be the first of its kind to open up in the eastern part of the state. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said that he expects his nation's current shortage of legal adult use marijuana to last no more than a year. The country has been dealing with regional shortages of legal adult use marijuana following October's switch over to border to border legalization. Prime Minister Trudeau spoke with the Canadian press on Friday and predicted the supply shortfall to be fixed, quote, during the coming months and perhaps the coming year, unquote. Trudeau also criticized a new bill that would raise the legal age of marijuana consumption in the province of Quebec from 18 to 21, saying that the higher age limit would just drive younger consumers to the illicit market. Our final top story today is a pickup by Jeff Smith over at Marijuana Business Daily of an amendment set to be introduced by U.S. Senator Cory Gardner of Colorado that would lift some of the financial restrictions currently placed against the legal marijuana industry by federal officials. A spokesperson for Senator Gardner said that the language of the amendment would be similar to the States Act, a bill co-sponsored earlier this year by New Jersey Senator Cory Booker and Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Senator Gardner's new amendment would be attached to a broader criminal justice reform bill that's being considered this week. But with the holidays just ahead, there's not a whole lot of time for anything real to happen. Those are our top stories for today. It's time for Marijuana Today Daily Headlines Blitz. Before we blitz out on headlines, let's quickly thank our sponsor, Ease.com, California's top one-stop website for illegal marijuana delivery, and now a nationwide provider of hemp-derived CBD products by mail. With the holiday season in full effect, it's probably not a bad time to get some ideas for holiday gifts for those special cannabis consumers in your life. Swing over to Ease.com and open up their 2018 Holiday Gift Guide, which has lots of great suggestions for things you can gift your marijuana pals this Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Winter Solstice, Festivus, or whatever other holiday or non-holiday you choose to celebrate. If you live in a part of California where Ease is active, you can take delivery of any holiday gift you buy in less than an hour. And if you don't, well, you're just going to have to dream of the future dates when Ease Adult Use Delivery lands in your state. You can also swing over to easewellness.com and get a mail delivery order in for all of the professionally curated hemp-derived CBD products up for offer over there. That's ease.com and easewellness.com with ease spelled E-A-Z-E. Thanks again to all the good folks over at Ease for helping make our show possible. All right, time for the Blitz. 
Last week, the Canadian province of Ontario announced details for how it would open up its adult use legal sales system. As regular listeners know, Canada legalized adult use marijuana nationally in October, but is leaving it up to its provinces to work out most of the details for how that will actually work. Ontario officials laid out those plans on Thursday, saying it would start with a lottery to hand out 25 dispensary licenses by the end of March, with an assessment of available supply to be made afterward before any more shops would be allowed to open. Massachusetts is figuring out that there's not really a way for anyone to quantifiably measure how impaired a person is on cannabis, unlike with alcohol, where it's easily determinable how drunk a driver is through the use of a breathalyzer or blood test. On Friday, researchers with the state's Cannabis Control Commission told a special legislative committee that it's not possible to measure cannabis consumption impairment. This is a long-running storyline, but one that will probably pop up in every state for a good while. The Massachusetts committee will hand in recommendations to the state legislature at large by the end of the year. The Iowa Board of Medicine voted on Friday to add a specific type of autism to their list of medical marijuana qualifying conditions. Also added was the condition ulcerative colitis, an inflammatory bowel disease, as well as a measure allowing patients to vaporize cannabis. Currently, Iowa medical marijuana law restricts patients to using CBD oil or ingesting edibles. Some bad news out of Colorado for the owners of the Sweet Leaf Dispensary chain, which was shuttered last year throughout the Denver area after police raids targeted the company's allowance of the use of looping, where customers would make repeated purchases of the maximum allowed per transaction. In a decision made last week in a court case against the owners of Sweet Leaf over deals they had to buy buildings in Denver, a judge ordered them to pay $8.8 million. Ouch. Kyle Yeager over at Marijuana Moments picked up on a good story out of Missouri with Republican Representative Nick Schroyer pre-filing a bill last week that would prevent the state from sharing its list of registered medical marijuana patients with the federal government. While I think it's pretty safe to say right now that the chances of any kind of federal crackdown on medical marijuana patients are slim, we do have a cornered criminal president in the White House right now, so who knows what could happen. Probably not a bad idea to err on the side of being overly protective. The Canadian press has voted marijuana legalization to be their top business story of 2018. The company polls its editorial staff each year about their thoughts on the news, and this year the story of nationwide Canadian legalization was probably an easy one to pick first. And finally for today, we end with a story of social justice. NJ.com is reporting that Dane Foster, a 36-year-old father of four and green card holder from Jamaica, is being deported by the Gestapo. I mean, the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, also known as ICE. Mr. Foster, whose wife is a disabled military veteran who depends on her husband's income to help support their family, was arrested last week and is being booted from the country because of some simple marijuana possession charges from the early 2000s and 2014, and because our president is an evil, cruel racist. Read this story. Those are the headlines and news for the day. I'll be back with you again tomorrow morning with another information-packed episode of Marijuana Today Daily. For the meantime, if you have any stories to share or feedback to give, zip us an email to headlines at mjtodaydaily.com. And while you're clicking around the interwebs, swing over to our Twitter account at mjtodaydaily and visit our website at mjtodaydaily.com to find links to all the news we cover. Thanks to our sponsor, Ease, and to all of our awesome patron listeners for the support that makes this show possible. To join the illustrious ranks of the patron listeners yourself, swing over to our website at mjtodaydaily.com and click on that big blue button at the top of the page that says, Become a Patron. I'm your host, Shay Gunther. Thanks for tuning in and starting your day with marijuana today. Today. One take, Shay. One take.